Saturday at Gen Con 2024 continues, and I'm going to talk to Aaron Zipperly from Rolling Crits. Woo I don't know, maybe you recognize his hat. You know, yeah. that had been wearing all the past year. For I the past hand years. sewn that on. That's right. And damaged it for you. <laughs> this is custom fitted, mm. so I can't have my head grow anymore. <laughs> anyway, you are the official outfitter, I guess we'll say, of Gen Con, and yeah. there's other things we're gonna talk about too. Right. So first of all, I always like your designs on the t-shirts and the hats and, and stuff like that. We're, my cameraman, Elliot Miller, and I were uh, friendly with the previous outfitter for Gen Con, and I have to say thank you very much for not dropping the ball. It, it Very large shoes to fill, for sure. Yes. To say the least. Because it would have been very easy for a company to come in and be like, oh, we're oh. overwhelmed. Yeah, but as you see from everything else we do at the Roller Crit, um, we overthink everything and over-engineer everything, and quality is everything. See, and I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> So let's talk about, uh, we'll talk about the big release here. Yes. Uh, we will also talk about a, a Kickstarter that's going out, or no, it hasn't started yet. It right? hasn't started yet. Right, I didn't think so. All right, so first of all, we're talking Bag of Holding, and there's one that's got gear in it, so I guess, I don't know, do we? It's off okay, camera. there we go. This is my personal Bag of Holding. It is kind of full right now, but this is how much stuff you could put in it. Oh, my energy drink. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to need that later. And so, that is, that's a redesigned bag. It is a redesigned it? bag. So um, so we came from the ashes of Think Geek. Yes. Um, and so what we did is saw a lot of tattered bags at shows. And we felt bad. A lot of people requested, now that they knew that we were, um, you know, old Think Geek Ronin, to bring back some of the old products. Now, for a lot of reasons, we can't. Um, but for this one, we did. Uh, so we spent about a year and a half re-engineering the old bag, uh, and seeing with NASA scientists, I believe, with NASA was, scientists. Right? Well, you know, we had only four to three month freelance for one of them, but that was just for one part of the bag. But he had done the bionics for Steve Austin, so we're all good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so yes, we uh, we looked through all of the customer complaints, all the defects that we had through years past tried to remedy all of them into one bag, and also then found a factory that can do the same thing. I am the tester where I started ripping the bag apart for about a year and a half, where we had a factory who was very frustrated with us for doing that for so long. Well, you had a prototype here last year. We did, and, and I was still tearing were, that thing apart. Right, because you were like <laughs> yanking at it when I was standing there, like, look at this. <laughs> yes. And so we finally got the, the Kickstarter live. Um, it did very well. We had a lot of people that were, you know, felt nostalgic about the bag and wanted to replace it. People that have never got the bag before but always wanted it. And some people that have just never discovered it before and did for the first time. And so it was very successful then. Kickstarter has finally been fulfilled. And now we wanted to bring it to Gen Con right in time. And we did. We also have a fun art strap program that we kind of launched with it, some, some accessories. And the fun thing that we brought back from the old con bag of holding is the merit badge program, which I have here. And so now every show we'll ever be at, we'll always make a new patch. As long as you bring your bag, you don't have to pay for anything. You just come over, show us your bag, we get you a new patch. Wow, you don't have to pay for anything, so you Nothing. come up and what? get all this stuff for free? It's a gift that keeps oh, you on wait. giving. You get just, the, the, just the strap. I was, was going to say, you get the patch. It's a really cool patch. But that's still pretty cool. But yeah. Well, you know, the button fanatics out there are going to be like, oh, yeah, sweet. Exactly. Yes. So, very cool. And I should point out, because Aaron mentioned this before we started shooting, you're going to see the bag of holding far more close up because I will have one that I will be sharing video of in the very near future. That he paid for a full price. Yes. Well, I thought you were going to give me the <laughs> tax off. Of course. So, okay. So, I reviewed Heroes of Barcadia uh, after last year's show. And we did use adult beverages. We didn't use soda for it. Right. And I shared a review. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. It's a funny game. And uh, there are a lot of like uh, drink-related kind of gags and jokes in it. 
And you are going to expand that with four new characters. That's right. So we have the original, so we have six characters that went into the original game with a party pack of two additional characters. So that's eight classes. People wanted us to have additional content and Voodoo Ranger actually came to us to create a cup for them specifically. And we figured out how to kind of put that into the world by making it a mercenary. So we call them Hero for Hire. And so we decided this is the time to also bring four other classes to get all 12 classes into one and call them Heroes for Hire. So now those four new cups are coming out in September and a Kickstarter will be launching. And uh, they come with four new um, loot cards or power-up cards and a character ability card that makes them a little bit more OP than the original classes. Okay. Just because now they're mercenaries, you know? They're, they're, they're trained swords. And so people don't hire, you know, first level characters normally <laughs> unless they need the basement like cleared of rats. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so we've been working on this for a while and uh, and playtesting for quite a bit. And we're also releasing a really new chaotic method to play the game for anybody who's played the game way too many times or feel like the game needs to be more complex. Uh, we have a scroll or the die of barking chaos coming out in that Kickstarter as well. What it is is a D20 that you roll. Um, and some chaotic thing will happen by the symbol that's shown on that die. Every seven loot cards moves the die along the path, and then you get to roll that die. So it become, it gives a new tactic to the game, adds more complexity to the game, and a little bit more chaos to the game, um, which makes things more chaotic. Right. Uh, we'll also be releasing some other new things like um, uh, house rules again, um, new DIY card packs, and some other secret fun content that if you are a completist, you'll want to get. Uh, there's also some fun stretch goals we have planned, so I hope it does well so we can unlock all of them. Let's see, I'm trying to remember. I know the one's a, one's a, a centaur. One looks like they're maybe made from a beer barrel because he's like Dram. a wooden guy. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. I'm trying to remember the you other have the two. monk. And then one is uh, like a kind of like a tiefling or demon. Or, they have like horns, if I remember right. Yeah. That, well, that's the monk. That's that's Sipajin. Okay. okay. And then you also have the uh, artificer. Okay. So we have we have all four. Right. It's it's really exciting, and I think that the play styles for those. Now that we've perfected it, we've heard so much feedback from our fans. People have been playing the games. We read every comment. We read every single thing that I'm ever comes sorry. through. It's I know how the internet works. <laughs> well. <laughs> Because you're like, oh, good, good, yeah. what? Well, that's fine. You just play some Heroes of Arcadia to, you know, <laughs> to soften the blow. You'll feel better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but we really do listen, and we took a lot of those things into play. We also even, if you're having a hard time pick up the tiles, we are also giving out um, in this Kickstarter for anyone who backs um, a little sword suction cup that we all saw that some users actually made uh, in our fan, uh, fan group that we created specifically for this to help pick up the tiles off the table. We have glass tables, something smooth. So nice. we're always coming up with new iterations. We're always trying to come up with improvements. The game is not just a static game and will continue growing. Sweet. What else do you want to chat about, Aaron? I really think people need to sign up for that Kickstarter coming through so we get it you know, backed within 48 hours. That's our goal. That's our goal. What, are you threatening these people? I'm telling you. you gotta are you it. threatening my audience, Aaron? <laughs> Never. I won't stand I'm for that. I'm them with a good time. I won't stand. Oh, uh, $20? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, feel free. Thank you. Uh, no, I mean, any final items that are like on the horizon or that came out recently that you're super excited you want to make sure people know about? You know, there's some new holiday items we'll be having on the site that don't have to do with the bag of holding or Heroes of Arcadia that are just roller crit branded lifestyle things. Um, that you'll see as a gifted station. We'll probably have that launching sometime in September to give you guys a heads up on what we're actually doing for that. Um, we've been doing a lot with Gen Con that's been keeping us busy, the bag of holding and, and Heroes of Arcadia, but we also are a lifestyle brand. And right. so our dice line is expanding, um, our gifts are expanding, and other fun you know, shirt designs and things like that like, we're doing ourselves. You know, hats. Yeah. yeah, we'll be releasing as well shortly as well. Fantastic. As well. Any final thoughts you'd like to share, Aaron? Mm, Besides thoughts. go and sign up for the Kickstarter. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the only thought I have aside for... Um, you would say thank you to the audience. I really <laughs> want to thank the audience. <laughs> I just, Aaron likes goofing around. I love so We're all good. <laughs> it's, it's Saturday. It <laughs> at is. At Gen Con. And we're punchy. You know, we need coffee. 
I think I can't, I can't do any more caffeine. No. Oh gosh, I'm just. Where are you finding it? You're holding out. Oh, uh, I I bought a twenty-five dollar collector's cup for dollar refills. <laughs> Been sucking all that down. Plus, we get free soda in the press room. Oops, wasn't supposed to say that. I'll be I'll be editing that out. Aaron, thank Don't. you so much. Thank you for taking time out and always being just a joy to chat with. I mean, you really are. You're, I'm glad you find me on my delirious to. days, you know? And well, at least you're someone I, I talk to because every once in a while I do, because I always get around to interviews and I'll just like say something and it's just a tear in the headlight look. I'm like, we can move on from that. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're, we're, we're always going to have a fun time. Sweet. All right. Have a great con. Thanks Thank for you so chatting. Much. Of course.